win for Stevenson. My name is Adam Pohl. Great to be joined by Graham Miller. you got to be so excited. Number six team in the nation is here. And 3-2 uh, final score today. But Coach Miller, it just seemed to me that at the beginning of both halves, the first and second, you guys came out as the stronger side. That's a great observation, and you know that that was the goal today. You know, this when you when you're playing against a team that's number six in the country, that's won 14 in a row, and uh, 14 in a row, and hasn't been behind much. You know, I think they were, I think they've only been behind maybe once against Misericordia, and they ended up winning 3-1. So our goal, and that's what we told the team, is, you know, this is our home field. You know, this is conference. This is what it all counts. So regardless of previous results, we got to play the first 15, 20 minutes in their half. We can't allow them to be in their half. And, you know, you've seen that. I mean, both teams only had five shots each, but we had two goals. Mm -hmm. So the goal was, you know, to keep them at our half, and we did that. So I thought for about 35, 40 minutes, we did the job and then let them a little bit back into it. And then you're right. We talked about a 2 nothing lead in soccer mm -hmm. is never a good lead. <laughs> you know, people think, oh, 2 nothing, but it's actually the worst lead to have at the half. So we talked about getting the next goal. And, um, you know, that start of that second half, I thought they did really well until, obviously, they lost one. But, um, you know, great start at both halves. It looked like you did have that third goal early in the second half, but a foul took it away. Maybe a Referee. tough break on, on your side. But but still with that, you were able to rebound. And uh, when they did score on a counterattack play, you came back and, and you got a huge goal immediately following. You know, and that is the big thing, you know. So all of a sudden, you know, it's a game, you know, like most sports, it's a game of momentum. You know, we don't get that goal. They could have put us 3 nothing up and maybe out of sight. Then we could, they go down the field, they score, make it close. So the big thing for us was how do we respond? Do the heads go down? Do we think, oh, oh, oh we're playing the number six team, we're 14, you know, 14 and 0, they're gonna come back now and win? No. So the way that we handled that shows our character that was missing a little bit at the start of the season, our fight, mm -hmm. and what a goal by Brianna to, you know, to give us that two goal cushion again. And then obviously it didn't last long. Brianna took uh, such a great, did such a great job of, of knowing how much time she had. She, she was she able to settle it down and, and really get a good foot into it. Yeah, she did. And she, you know, as a freshman, you know, mm -hmm. to show that composure yeah. in a big game like this, they just scored, make it 2-1. And that's when we needed her just to settle it down. And she did. Great touch, great second touch. And then boom, in the back of the net. It was a great finish from, by a freshman. Lastly, the first 15 minutes of the second half were back and forth. There were opportunities abound. I mean, there were three goals scored, but really it could have been even more between yeah, the two right. teams combined. So you were able to maybe even put in a little bit more of a defensive posture over the last 30 minutes because uh, when they scored to make it 3-2, to two, a one-goal lead with still 29 minutes to play didn't seem to be a lead you felt good about. And I actually thought there was more goals in it. The way that game was going, at 3-2 with like 29 minutes left, mm -hmm. I didn't know it was that much time. I can feel it though. But it was... Um, I thought that that might be the um, there might be more goals in it. So we decided we we finally clicked on. You know they changed their game plan. They put three forwards high and just they, they did a little bit what we do. They went direct and you can see that's how they scored the goals, just getting the ball up the field. And so we talked to them about sitting a little bit deeper and then putting a little bit more defensive on the holding midfielders. Mm -hmm. And that's that was our job for the last 29 minutes. And I thought we did that well. One more, uh, Coach Miller. Obviously, this is, you've had many big wins this year, but this is your biggest. And uh, But you've got such a quick turnaround to take on another team that's in the top 15 of the country, one of the toughest teams in your conference in Messiah. So how do you kind of turn the page on this one and get focused uh, for another big one? Because if you get that win on Tuesday, it could really spring you forward to a great end of the year. And you're right, and that's what we talk about. One game at a time, you know, you know we didn't look past this game because this is the team that's number six. You know, Messiah, I think, is like number 13, right. top top. 15 and we knew that this got into this conference um, you know the, the you know these were this was our toughest stretch you know we had a tough one against Albright last week we knew it was going to be tough against Arcadia today and then Messiah on Tuesday so now the game plan will be let's enjoy this win and then let's get ready for Tuesday and, and you know we'll be ready and we're going to be ready to play you know one of the best teams in the country and the defending conference champs but you know that's all the motivation we need so we'll be we'll be ready for Tuesday and and I hope we've got the uh, the energy and ready to go. Well, Coach Miller, we're so happy for you. Great win today. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's Coach Graham Miller. 3-2. Stevenson wins it. We're going to take a break. Back with more right after this.